Hello and welcome back to the Pro Gamers. Today I'm going to be remaking my installation of the AMD FX8350 processor. I'm remaking this video for two reasons. First reason is that I was asked by um, someone to help them out installing their processor, like give them advice. Um, and I thought, well, the video isn't that I made previously wasn't very good, so I'll just remake it anyway. Um, and I'd also like to apologize to him because I said that I'd have it out about three weeks ago before this um, was recorded and that never happened because of technical difficulties with my computer with the software and then not having an internet, internet connection so yeah and then my second reason was that I didn't think the, the previous video was very good so I've already mentioned that earlier on um, so yeah, first off, this tool can, can be used for any processor with the socket AM2, AM2+, AM3, AM3+, FM1 and FM2. So first off, you'll have the processor, it'll be in the box, so I'll just show you on the screen, showing what mine looked like when it was in the box, well, showing the box itself because the processor it wasn't in the box at this current time um, and then obviously when you open it up you will have um, a small plastic box which holds the processor along with a bit of foam but I didn't have that um, you'll have a slightly larger cardboard box about the size of the tin that it came in um, and that will hold the fan itself which is very important otherwise the processor overheats in less than a minute I've had it once before um, and then the last thing is the manual to install the processor itself along with some other stuff I think it also includes a warranty amongst that but you can just do all of that online so yeah so when you install the new processor then I'm taking to the fact that you've already opened up your computer case or got the, your motherboard out on a table, whichever one you prefer. So, at first, you need to um, open up the lever by um, swinging it up, for, swinging it from a 180 degree position to a 90 degree position. So, from lying down flat to pointing upwards. Um, that sort of position. Yeah. So, once you've done that, then. Um, you'll want to get your CPU out. Do not touch uh, pins on the bottom. Uh, they can be damaged incredibly easily. So just hold it by the sides. And you, what you want to do is um, orientate it. And how I did this was I looked at the bottom and you notice that there's four pins um, positions where they could be, but they're not there. And then on the socket where you're installing um, the um, CPU, um, you'll notice that there's the same pattern. Oh, it pins, um, places where pins could be, but they're not. So that shows you which orientation, but there's also an arrow on the CPU itself which shows the orientation as well. Um, so, yeah, you want to put um, your CPU in gently so you don't damage your pins because if they bend out of shape, that avoids the warranty. And yeah, um, so put it in gently, and it should just fall into place when it's all uh, all the pins are lined up. Um, do not slide it across the socket on the motherboard, so that can mid again damage your pins. And then step three is just closing the le um, the lever that you opened up in step one, and then the CPU will be locked in place um, with the um, video for this it shows that I did a very used very small amount of force to just make sure that it was locked in place and it obviously was so the next step is putting in the fan um, you'll put this in by um, just basically just putting it on top of the CPU but the orientation it needs to go around you'll notice that on the aided video there's two rings around the um, round two socket well 
um, two clips um, by the side of the where the CPU is now is on the motherboard and on the fan you'll notice that there's um, two yet again two clips this time they should be made out of metal and you want to make sure that they both go on um, the sides where there's um, two clips and motherboard uh, well you'll see by I've got pictures of the instruction manual and you'll see which way by by that um, it's a lot easier than me explaining myself okay so on the fan the side with the lever on it you want to put that clip over the clip on the motherboard first before going to the other side and doing the exact same thing but you may require a bit more force this time um, I did it anyway um, so once both clips are done up with the lever on the fan you want to move at 108 degrees clockwise um, and you'll see that from the picture of the instruction manual um, you'll see which direction it moves etc and then that will obviously lock it in place and, and then the last step for installing the CPU is plugging the fan in this is obviously very important and it will be plugged the fan will be plugged in for using the lead from the fan and plugging it into the socket which is named system fan so yeah um, I hope this has been useful and um, if you have um, if it have been useful for you please like the video and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and goodbye